time for the big fat quiz of the year 2017. Yes. Yeah. 2017. Feels, feels like it's been it feels like it was yesterday, but bro, it's that's seven years ago. That's does that was that yeah, that was that was Thursday. That was yeah. last Thursday. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was Thursday. Yeah. But anyway, what 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 handicap are we uh is it two or Based three. on our big fat quiz of the year, we're gonna stick with three, bro. Okay. I don't care we'll, about. We'll... I don't really care about your trip there. That doesn't yeah. help us. Yeah, that that didn't help. So. That didn't help at all. No. So, three handicap. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Three, two, one. Hello and welcome to the big fat quiz of 2017. This is a quiz all about 2017, or as world history will remember it, the final chapter. <laughs> This show will test your memory, your knowledge of all things 2017, and my patience. <laughs> Let's meet the teams. We like to call them the A-Team. Sorry, not the A-Team, that's A-Team. It's David Mitchell and Roisin Conaty. <laughs> Next up, one's the King of Grime, the other's past her prime. It's the Pride of Brixton and the mild embarrassment of Canada. It's Catherine Ryan and Big Nasty. And finally, these two are toddlers at a wedding. They're tired, <laughs> excited, and they're showing off. It's bound to get annoying. Richard and I, why do you know Fielding? What? He, he looks like, like a witch in a pilgrim had a child. <laughs> oh my God, dude. What is that? That's... Nuts! It's no fielding. What do you expect? Well, before, before we get started, let's talk about how our years have been. How was your 2017, David? I'd say it was personally adequate and internationally <laughs> disastrous. <laughs> so, yeah. genuinely, the world looks like it's more likely to end sooner rather than later. But the thing to remember is that at some point, the sun's going to explode. <laughs> so we've got that. That's happening, yeah. whatever. So whether humanity makes it until the sun explodes or not, it's irrelevant, really, isn't it? So... <laughs> Jimmy, my teammate, Big Nasty, has noticed that David Mitchell sounds like David Mitchell from TV. This is so guest. I swear to God, this is major guest for me. I'm on some real fan waiting right now. What's your favorite show of David's? What do you like? The It Team. The It Team. I'm sorry. Stephen King's It. You're in it as well. Well, he's definitely in it. He's not in it, though, is he? I don't. No, Pete shows. I love how you fuse those two shows. The It Pete. <laughs> it's like it's like a backhanded compliment i love that though it's like aren't you on it team the fuck oh peep. it peep what what are you talking about i'm having a show for sure <laughs> i'm surrounded by two people i see all the time on reruns what's going on it's probably on his tv well uh after a, a hip-hop show interesting so why not <laughs> I love how you fuse those two shows. Peep it. Peep it. Peep it. Peep it. Light of 2017. What was the best bit for you? I've been on all right year, personally, so... Well, you had Game Face on Channel 4. Huge. You are on set on. Big Nasty, presumably a good year for you. Give good thanks and praise. I've been turning up still. Media. Gang, 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 gang. Now, I didn't get any of that, so... Well, Jimmy, I... When you get one rapper on a panel of a bunch of white people. The whitest of white people, by the way. Oh, oh my God! And we are including Richard in that too. So it's like exactly it's, we are including in Richard there. in that in that statement for sure. Yeah. Oh man! Oh uh, my God! This is gonna be epic, dude. <laughs> I looked at a parent's website for those who are bewildered about the language their children use online to try to understand some of Big Nasty's language. BDL. That's Big Defense League. That's what that is. Base Defense League. Wow, are you getting yeah. there? Respect. And then Bren Tekas. Ben Tekas. Ben Tekas. Okay. That's good yeah, yeah. skills. <laughs> Jimmy, every time I do the fat quiz, I get closer to you, and ultimately, I want to be your podium. That's why I've worn this. Come and stand here next to this. You yeah, come as the podium. I've come as your podium. <laughs> so the last year, how was 2017 for you? It was Greg? crazy. There were a lot of cakes. Uh, I was in a tent at one point. I don't. It's weird, isn't it? I did a cake show. I don't know fuck all about cakes. Richard, how was your 2017? I couldn't pick out moments. It was a sludge. <laughs> What about the Crystal Maze? That was a huge shit. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> you were on that, right? Crystal Maze? No way! Crystal Maze is the white board man. Not all rubbish to me, bruv. <laughs> it's been redone, and oh. Richard Armadi's hosting it. Well, it was a oh, huge fair. hit. <laughs> it's completely eclipsed the original, as we can tell. The original Crystal Maze host... Rat said Fred. It was Rat said Fred. No, why said no. Fred? <laughs> it was Richard O'Brien. 
It's no use trying to hide. We can still see you. <laughs> what about? I love Big Nasty. He is awesome. Oh uh, man, we we don't really do music reactions anymore, but we could if enough people want it, maybe we could squeeze one in for Big Nasty. Yeah. That team name. Have you got a team name, David Roisin? We would like to be referred to as the Tinsel Sisters. That feels Roisin like a decision you made. Uh, what's the problem with it? <laughs> I like Tinsel's it. Christmassy Sisters. Wait, some of us are women. Big nasty Catherine, what's your team name? We're gonna light them up. We're Team Pain. I just say, the Tinsel Sisters have only come for a night out. Uh -huh. yeah. Can I just clarify? <laughs> is the team called Team Pain? Or is the team called Pain? <laughs> I think the team is called Team Pain. Team the team, team name is Team Pain. Hashtag yeah. with the pain at the beginning as well. <laughs> <laughs> team Pain, hashtag with the pain at the beginning as well. <laughs> Richard Noel, what is your team name? I thought we should be called, because he's in Crystal Maze and I'm on the cake show, we should be called Cakes in the Maze. <laughs> like snakes on the plane. Cakes in the Maze it is. <laughs> right, on with the show. Our first round is all about the year's top stories. Let's remind ourselves what happened. In March, Theresa May formally triggered Article 50, officially beginning the highly complex and technical process of fucking up Brexit. Yeah. In September, Ryanair cancelled thousands of flights after mismanaging pilots' leave. The cancellations meant thousands of people couldn't get to within an 80-mile bus journey of their final destination. Yeah. Let's get started. Here are some questions. Our first round, it's all about the news, the big headlines this year. Theresa May's speech at the Tory party conference in October was a real low point in a generally disastrous year for her. Can you remember the three things that went wrong during her speech? Point for each. Yeah. Three things went wrong during Theresa May's speech. I don't know. I'm just going to guess some things. Audio failure. All right. What else would go wrong in a public speaking thing? Well, there's a lot that could go wrong. I'm trying to... Off script? Or she went off script. Went off script and I don't know. Uh, contradicted herself. Fuck it. Not, there you go. The, well, those answers are good as any. I'll throw in, she farted. There you go. Why not? Question number two. Immediately after Donald Trump's inauguration, Sean Spicer was caught lying about the size of the crowds. What I want to know is, how did Trump supporter Kellyanne Conway explain away the bullshit? And it's some alternative facts. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's what it was. And he's still getting triggered by his crowd sizes these days. He's so obsessed with it. I can't open X without him talking about it. Man, pretty yeah. crazy. It's I, good I for people you. that like him, though. Because remember, there are people that like him. Apparently. <laughs> okay, what I'm looking for is a phrase that she coined, and I'll give you a clue. It wasn't fake news. Oh, my God. Is she winking, or is one eye just... <laughs> okay, this is, this is an excellent question here, people. This year, Donald Trump proved his statesmanlike qualities in a high-stakes war of words with Kim Jong-un. Trump called Kim short and fat, and Kim called Trump old. But what other unusual insult did the North Korean leader have for Trump? Oh, man. I, I think, I know Trump called Kim Jong-un Rocket Man at once, so... But, <laughs> really? But reverse of it, I don't know what else Kim Jong-un called Trump. I don't know. Pig? Maybe. Probably. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. Why not? I feel like it's usual, right? It just slips off the tongue. So, yeah. Exactly. So, here's a, here's a picture of uh, Kim Jong-un. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh, that's Michael. <laughs> What's his name? I don't want to give anyone a hard time, but I think that's the wrong photo. It might be Michael McIntyre. There he is. Your laugh is so gassed to know that. Your laugh is majorly gassed. It is majorly gassed, Jimmy. Just be careful because I'm very sensitive. Oh, <laughs> Mo Farah's sign. That is definitely not the Mo Farah sign. I mean, famously, isn't it? The... It's still a heart, but you just need a smoke. How is that a heart? It's an M for Mo. an M. He's a human being. <laughs> You're saying it's like a heart. Not exactly a heart, but like a heart. And you're not giving me the M. It's so like Christmas. <laughs> this year saw Brenda from Bristol become an unexpected celebrity after her reaction to which story? Oh! Do you know? I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not gonna try it. Jump up! Whoop. Yes, officers. <laughs> <laughs> Even my heart of stone is worn by the children of Mitchell Brook Primary School. But before we wanted that unconventional school place here, take a look. You can wear these. Bong, bong, bong. It's too loud. Don't 
or you can make it quiet. How dare you? This can't be right. <laughs> Bong, bong, bong. So which new story uh, were they acting out there? Okay, I taking some guesses. Construction workers that were working on the scaffolding of the Big Ben container. I know it's not called Big Ben, even though I passed by it, whatever. They played a recording of the bell every time it went off every hour. Huh. To huh. the workers' ears. Really? Wow, I'm fine with that. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I would come to the same conclusion. Yeah, just a wild guess there. Yep. Okay, your answers. First up, I asked you what three things went wrong for Theresa May. What, what did you all get? We know them. Little fell down, yeah, and she coughs too much when she's talking about real stuff. Yeah, and <laughs> like, yeah, that's my chair. Uh, what have you got, guys? We we got chronology correct. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Extra points for getting the chronology correct. Maybe they don't care about time. I was allowed the name Tinsel Sisters, and he said as long as he's in charge of chronology. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what got them? More three things. Um, the bracket, Simon Brodkin, was the name of the prank. Play for the B45. Yeah. 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 Um, put a comma in. I can only apologise. Yeah. Cough. She had a cough as sore throat kept sipping, and then the letters falling off. Uh, Correct. Uh, you. Richard, you get this? I can't read Richard's writing. It's like a doctor's handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> Sign fell off. That's the top left. Um, middle coughing fit. General inhumanity. That's bottom uh, middle, <laughs> and then declared war. On her own haircut. <laughs> okay. Well, I want to take a look. Ten years after Northern Rock, <coughs> our economy is back on track, and the. <coughs> public sector working together. So why, <coughs> why will no? Excuse me. Boris asked me to give. While our opponents flirt with <laughs> foreign policy of neutrality, and prepare for a run on the ground. Such an image of modern Britain in all its diversity, compassion, and strength that was shared around. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the answer is that we can't get anything the fuck right in this country. <laughs> that the people in charge of the sign behind the Prime Minister while she makes her speech can't get the fucking letters <laughs> to stay on the fucking wall. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, am I right that you're, you're just ruling out poltergeists? <laughs> <laughs> I've, look, I've looked into this. Good. They were not glued, they were on with magnets. <laughs> they were magnetised letters. Now, why were they magnetised letters? <laughs> They either glued there or painted there. Glue no gum. poltergeist in the world can make paint fall off. <laughs> As that letter jumps off, you could hear him going, I'm not listening to any more of this. <laughs> Why the magnetised letters? Did they think they might want to change their slogan at the last minute? <laughs> That's literally what it was. Yes, well, go with that for now. We might want to say, making Britain a fucking dump. <laughs> it's difficult to know how that could have gone worse, really. That's worse than my worst than a gig. Someone showed me their ass. <laughs> it's going really badly. Someone yeah, sorry just about went. That. <laughs> yeah. You were there, actually. <laughs> showed you my ass. Okay, next question. I asked you what term uh, Kellyanne Conway, a Trump supporter, came up with to explain Sean Spicer's bullshit about the presidential inauguration numbers. What did you think? David, Broshin? We put much of the crowd were invisible. <laughs> They're ratchet. Yeah. It's kind of mid rapture. <laughs> The, perhaps the magnets that were supposed to hold them there. <laughs> but then we put alternative facts, which we think is the actual answer. OK, did you uh, miss Big Nasty, yeah. Catherine? Yeah, we think that alternative facts have defined most of the year. It's very famous bullshit uh, way of saying lies. And your mum put fuck Trump. Oh, yeah, and then your man put fuck Trump as well. OK. Uh, very difficult to say again what Richard's yeah. written. <laughs> Sometimes it's easier to lie, which is the subtext. We, we were subtext. <laughs> it's new to quizzing. Sometimes it's easy to lie and different truths, both of which are the subtext. So why don't we deepen the quiz and not just keep it on the surface. And give some bonus points for subtext. Okay, point. No point. Oh, come on. OK, we got one. Give us a point. Yep. Oh, That's Trump's inauguration and that was Obama's. And he said, yep, Trump's was bigger. So I asked you what unusual term Kim Jong-un used to insult President Donald Trump. <laughs> Big what? Nasty knows it. Big Nasty, what was it? Don't suck donkey dicky balls <laughs> <laughs> Okay, David Rushing, did you know this? We did know this. Yeah. What word? 
A dotard. Richard, what was your answer? Oh, uh, we put... He, oh, God, I, I thought he genuinely one. said this, that you're... He's unbrittle. <laughs> he didn't, though, did he? <laughs> Satsuma he said, to he said it. <laughs> uh, what points? You get a point. Uh, Dotard, yeah. No points. points. You know, you get a segment of Satsuma oh, thrown at you now. Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be said, Jimmy. Yeah. Why don't you get a seat on this program? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's like a shark. If he sits down, he'll never get up again. <laughs> yeah, famously, should they sit down, <laughs> he'll not get up again. And that's why there are no sharks in Boy Zone. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, Sim young called him a, uh, a dotard, which is a, uh, a winded old person. Um, next, ask you what Brenda from Bristol reacted to on the news. I mean, what have you done there, Big Nasty? What's that? <laughs> no, yeah. I'm real. I'm just happy to write with an electronic pen. I've just been... <laughs> You haven't written words with it, have you? You've just done a scribble. Basically, we think Brenna from Bristol was upset about the snap election. Yeah. Oh, I can see election, election somewhere underneath the scribble. And then okay. Some other I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, David Rushing. We put election quite neatly. She expressed a meditation. Well, I mean, it's true, but it's not the answer. Yes. It's about she was. They said there was another election, and she went, oh, oh, oi. Okay, let's have a look at Brenda in action. General election. You're joking. Not another one? <laughs> oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly, I can't stand this. There's too much politics going on at the moment. Why does she need to do it? <laughs> that wasn't a real accent. <laughs> Euro trash when they put the voice on after. <laughs> no, I'm not for general. Bloody hell, we've had about three coming inside. <laughs> OK, uh, with this round, you saw the children of Mitchellbrook Primary School acting out a new story from the year. What do you think it was? Big clock, fucking loud. <laughs> OK, uh, what do you get? Big nasty, Catherine? They are stopping a lot of bell ends this year, and Big Ben is no different. That is <laughs> until 2021. <laughs> OK, uh, David Roshin? Of Big Ben, because of the end of Britain. <laughs> 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 so at the end of that round, let's take a look at the scores. OK, I can tell you. OK, OK, so uh, we got that wish that I want to say we got that. Yeah, yeah, right. I think enough with that one. Yeah. Two points in now. Yeah, we're at two. So far, David and Roisin have seven. Oh, Big Nasty oh. and Catherine have six. Richard and Noel are lucky to have three. Join us after the break for more of what presidential spokesman Sean Spicer assures us is the most watched TV show in all of history. I'm going to see if I can find something that's, like, synced up. Because yeah, you, it's, you notice it's a bit unsynced. It's a little off, right? OK. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like, I was thinking, I, like, my internet. But I am keep looking at my signal. It's solid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. What did you have? I think it was the Ricky Six one. Yeah, it was Ricky Six. So I'm going to go with this one. Bring us up to the 18 mark. Okay, about, it's about minutes, right? Yeah. Right after the round, right? Yeah, yeah. I think six. Richard and Noel are lucky to have three. Join us after the break for more of what presidential spokesman Sean Spice has assures us is the most watched TV show in all of history. All right, I think that better. Yeah. Um, we'll keep this in in Patreon and YouTube. You get what you get. Yeah, and YouTube yeah. will sum this round. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. Our next round is all about the music of 2017. Let's remind ourselves, in July, Adele was forced to cancel the last two shows of her tour after damaging her vocal cords. Adele was left unable to sing in tune. Fine, I guess, but it's never stopped Madonna. <laughs> after falling down the stairs, it was revealed Simon Cowell suffered from low blood pressure. I guess when you lack an actual heart to pump it around your body, <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> right, time some more questions. OK, music questions now. First question, it's over to Channel 4 News, where the one and only Jon Snow is reporting on one of the biggest songs of the year. Take it away, Jon. Dramatic scenes in court today as the trial continues of a 28-year-old American woman accused of murder. Taking the stand, the defendant refuted her ex-boyfriend's claims that the gun was hers, noting that he laughs when he lies and suggesting that he had committed a perfect crime. Testifying for the prosecution, the woman's ex gave a harrowing account of her erratic behaviour, including keeping a list of names on which his appeared in red, underlined, trusting nobody and claiming that she was unable to come to the phone because she was dead. He also strongly denied any responsibility for the woman's felony, despite her repeated claims that he made her do it. Okay, so I... Taylor Swift, what you made me do. Oh. 
There you go. Yay. All the Taylor Swift uh, is going to come out. I'm still mad at y'all for not telling me Taylor Swift was in town when I went to the UK. Yeah, I'm just one above that. I'm mad. I'm just mad of why Taylor Swift. You guys didn't have to. <laughs> now look. Now look. Yeah. yeah. Look what you made me do. Artist and the song for you get the point. Oh, he's describing a song. How could you miss that? <laughs> He was talking about. Is that like making a murderer? I thought I've missed this. What's happening? Someone's <laughs> dead. Okay, I've yeah. got it anyway. I think. Yeah. How did you get that? Because I mean, David's no help on this. It's around. Yeah. Unless it's about Phil Collins, no jacket required. He's out. <laughs> it's Phil Collins, but serious. <laughs> Never bought no jacket required. I didn't approve of the sentiment. <laughs> Having said that, I'm not wearing a jacket, which makes me a hypocrite. For our next question, can you tell me what unlikely band received a bunch of flowers and a writing credit for their help with the previous song? Gandalf and the Professor, you got something? <laughs> the previous song. Uh, right said Fred? Because I'm thinking about, I'm going to talk about the previous song, Taylor Swift. Um, I'm just thinking maybe it's right said Fred. There you go. Yeah. I'm fine with that. I am no help with <laughs> Taylor Trivia at all. That's that's okay. That's okay. And I sleep at night. Better name. We should have had that. <laughs> okay, so next up, it's over to Corrupt. Have a question. Oh, shit! My jeans! Oh, yes, Jimmy. Love it. We play nothing but garage on Corrupt FM, but if we have to venture into the world of popular music, then guess what? Jay-Z is our man. And this year, he and Beyonce had twins and announced the baby's names on, on Instagram. Instagram. Nice. Can your teams remember what they called them? Can, Can you? you? You decide. Think about it. Over to you in the studio, Jim, mate. Keep it corrupt. Respect. <laughs> I love that. So the question was, can we remember their names? So for me, the answer no would be correct. Blue Ivy was one of them. I remember that. Um, I can't remember the other one. Like South by West, something like that. No, 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 no. That's that's Kanye and Kem. And the first one was the first one. Ivy. Blue Ivy. So that's all I got. Blue Ivy. Let's go Orange Road. Blue <laughs> Ivy, Orange Road. Uh, Pink, Kansas. Let's go. Pink. Winning. <laughs> Nasty. Are you crying? No. <laughs> <I'm> hungry. Okay. <laughs> so you're crying because you're hungry. We've been here about 20 minutes. What are you doing? <laughs> I wish I could cry when I was hungry. Because I think it would really stop restaurants serving slowly. <laughs> okay, next question. The... I, re I relate to that a lot. If I cry when I'm hungry. I, I'm not a happy person when I'm hungry. The the hack is the hack is when you have to feel like you got to cry, just chop onions and just belt it. Yeah. Just go full. Just go full cry. Yeah. Hit song. Uh, Desco, the most watched YouTube video ever. Four point four billion views. Can you tell me what the word despacito means in English? Ben. Well, slowly. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. I I wouldn't I wouldn't have known that. Oh, yes. Oh, me, amigo. Yes, has someone pushed two for Spanish? I got you. <laughs> yeah, instead of brown, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. It would be <laughs> no, I cannot. You, you realize that made as much sense to David that doesn't speak Spanish as everything else you said. <laughs> and finally, for the music round, all I want to know is how did DJ Tim Westwood embarrass himself on Snapchat in June? Oh, this is awful. <laughs> I, I guess, Dan, have you ever had a Snapchat account? Nope. Okay, so I, well, I'm Take a good guess as to what is that because that the there's only two good uses for Snapchat. It's that to communicate with friends you had in high or um send risque pictures to your lover. Huh. And pretty sure what he may have done sent a risque picture to his story, not oh. to the person he was intending to send it to. Oh shit. Yeah. Just a ball guess. Don't know the story. I think that tracks though. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've never done it. I'm I'm that's, always about that. That's so. crazy. All right. If you could laugh a little bit less like your heart, that would be, be amazing. OK, right, let's get to this. You all got something? Yeah. Roche. All good in the hood. Go on, Roche. <laughs> get, get, get along, girl. Knuckle in. Uh. You've got little hands. <laughs> let's go to some answers. OK, so I asked you what song Jon Snow was rip on. Uh, big nasty, uh, Catherine. Well, we just want you to know she's dead. And that is in reference to Taylor Swift. Look what you me do. Boom. What did you What did you put? Taylor Swift. Whisper. What What did you put, David Rushing? First of all, yeah. So we've got that. That's yeah. the name of the song. So <laughs> we just wasn't sure of the song. So it's, sorry, I killed that man. 
OK, so Big Nasty, Catherine, you get the point. The other two, you don't get the point. All right, should we, should, we, should we take a look? Let's take a look. Yeah. But I get smarter, I get harder, and then we got time. That was some serial skanking. I know. That was hamburger. He's coming raving. 100%. I asked you. Give us the point. Yeah, Give I already us did. that point. I already yes. Did. I already did. Who did Taylor Swift give a writing credit to? We know. What did you think, Roisin? Kanye West. Thank you very much. Oh. No. no. What? Do you mean to tell me the answer is not Kanye West? <laughs> I feel like such a fool. You said Kanye West. I was not... So wrong. Right. Uh, big nasty, Catherine. Is it, yeah? <laughs> it's it's Red. Fred. Yes. Yeah? Oh. And I'm too far top. Yeah, but you know Red represent the crystal maze, right? <laughs> It's the bald dead guy. <laughs> there are more than two bald white people. <laughs> there are three. It's right, said Fred, you the said guy who did the crystal maze, shows. and William Hague is the third one you have to look out for. <laughs> okay, and did Richard, do you get this? We you. said right, said crystal maze. There's crystal maze guy. Put the guy I, in the left. It's me. <laughs> I'm the guy. And you're in the no, he's the it man. Is that you in the middle of the show? I'm not the it man. You're the peep man. No, you're the you're peep show. Yeah. You're... He's the it man. Man. You're the it man. I'm you're in the, the it man as well <laughs> with the it men. Oh. No, he was in that old school program. The ginger guy who, who was a heavy metal. He lived in the, the university. Who do you think I am? Rick Mayo. No, no, the guy in the green jumper goes. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> what, Nigel Planer? <laughs> yeah. He's about 90. <laughs> so do you do that? I'm in the air. I'm a good chief. Mo Imagine that. It's no. not Mo Farrisheim. It's not. <laughs> it's famously, <laughs> that is the Mo Farrisheim. I'm going to get into this again, but it isn't. Mo There's Mo loads of things that aren't. That isn't either. <laughs> oh, look. Two, two of them. Is that any better? <laughs> Almost an end. That's a bit like... If you see Jimmy in the street, <laughs> give him the love. Give me Please. He's got rickets. <laughs> is that how you get rickets from standing up too long? I don't know. It's a, it's a lack of vitamin C, which isn't going to happen to you because you've been eating fruit every two no, minutes. I can't let that stand in. It's not a lack of vitamin C, it's a lack of calcium or vitamin D. Okay. Which is sunlight, People out there with rickets drinking orange juice, they're wasting their time. They don't wait till they get scurvy, then have the orange juice. <laughs> Don't, don't wait till you've got it to have an orange juice. <laughs> no, no, no. It's probably late. It's too late, yeah. Oh, OK, OK. Enough Gervy and Ricketts chat. Jimmy, it's 2017. Is what need to know in the future of Brexit. Brexit is right. all the vitamin deficiency and death. <laughs> this is the last Christmas with Turkey. <laughs> Next year, it's rat meat. <laughs> 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 <Man. laughs> when did this train just absolutely <laughs> derailed, bro? Oh. I love this. This is That's, why this watch this with everyone. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's, I'm so glad that we continued it. Oh, man. I, I, it's my favorite part of the show when it just goes off the rails yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, is it very nasty? Is it like, oh, you're the guy from the it. Oh, and, and <laughs> I just, I just. Oh, tangent. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, who are you in the it crowd? It's like, no, you're not, bro. If we were. Oh. If without <sighs> the I crowd, the it crowd beef show, we wouldn't have gotten it. So thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I, I am I'm there for it, man. Yeah. People be, you know, <laughs> breaking into the zoos, <laughs> eating the zebras. No oh, vitamin God. D in a zebra. <laughs> it's interesting. I wonder if it's white or dark meat. <laughs> nice. Okay. I asked you, uh, Corrupt FM asked you, uh, what Beyonce and Jay-Z named their twins. We've they asked if we knew what they named their <laughs> so twins, I... and my answer remained no. So I put that down. No, brackets D. But David from the Tinsel Sisters. Yeah. yeah. And then I named as well. It's Rumi. Uh, Ruby. Rumi. 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 Like, what, like a hatchback? No. <laughs> <laughs> the twins. Rumi and Sakata. What are you saying, Catherine? Catherine Sir definitely knows. Carter is right. But then I think the other baby is called Remy. But I can tell you one thing, Catherine, and this is going to eat you up inside. No. This is you pride yourself on knowing this shit. You don't. Oh. Roisin, David, you got that right. It was oh. Rumi and Rumi. Sakata, not whatever you uh, put. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Noel, I presume... I put one and two, and Richard put... I put Jedward. Jedward, he put. 
OK, so a point, no point. After all. becoming the most watched YouTube video this year, I asked you what uh, despacito actually means in English. What did you put? <laughs> boom, boom times. My car battery. Yeah. <laughs> despacito battery. Or boom, boom times. The two. OK, I can tell you, it is of the two. OK, Catherine, big nasty. Um, the Spanish, big nasty. Hola, amigo, say big nasty. But get your hand on the tea and of work. I'll kiss my tongue slowly. Why, why would you say that you in Spanish just... if I wanted the English? The English for a bit is slowly. Yes. Oh, oh Farasine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not a mo, Farasine! If you were ever in a sitcom, I think that would be your catchphrase. Yeah. <laughs> David Rushing, what did you put? We put it might be calmly, and then, but there's a speed you might despot. <laughs> what was trying to write then was at the speed you might deposit <laughs> Supposito. <laughs> quite often. <laughs> When learning a foreign language, you just sort of guess what it sounds like. <laughs> point one, mate. That's the yeah. wrong answer. It, 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 it means slowly. You get slowly. the point. Right. Could yeah. I ask yeah. that question? Listen. Oh, please. Let's proceed. Let's listen. Yes. That's enough. It probably won't even come up in copyright. Nope. Nope. That's what to do it. That's what to listen to these songs, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. Right. I asked you. Uh, did you know how Tim Westwood embarrassed himself on Snapchat? Richard, no. What did you put? We just put he admitted he had it because Snapchat. A, a man of his age <laughs> shouldn't have Snapchat. Not be having Snapchat. Uh, that almost deserves a point. I think a very good point, well made. Uh, Can David we have Roisin? a point? Because we haven't had one for about we fucking nine one. years. <laughs> <laughs> David Rushin. We didn't hear the question, so we just responded to the picture and wrote Leonard Nimoy's son. <laughs> Catherine, big nasty, what was the answer? What, what do you do, Catherine? Tim Westwood DM'd a lady. Did what? Did but it what? was direct message, but yeah, it was, right. it was okay. public. And he wrote, like, I'm going to take you on a date and pay for you to get a new clutch and a hair and some heels, like, just some really off pieced accessories. It's so gross. Yeah. <laughs> so if you may get your nails in it, you may want to get a wax. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go buying a house or a car or something. Oh, and he's just bank card That's with it. it as well. I appreciate you may want to wax. That was, it. it was different. It's difficult to remember now. It's so good. So he sent his card details <laughs> so that she can sort of smarten up <laughs> of meeting it. So he sent, he sent, which is his, that's his credit card with all the details. Uh, and then he sent a message saying, baby, looking forward to taking you to dinner on Thursday. Okay, okay, I need this. Okay. <clears throat> baby, looking forward to taking you to dinner on Thursday. I appreciate you may want to get nails, hair, and wax. Even some new shoes or a clutch bag. Use my card. It's black with private banking, so there's no limit. But don't be buying a new car. <laughs> you know, card in for parts. That's just as much nude, so I think we get the point for that I want to say that. You know what? You know what? Hey, it's our... It's our... Exactly. Check that out. I appreciate you may want to get nails, hair, and a wax, even some new shoes or a clutch bag. <laughs> Use my card. It's black with private banking, so there's no limit. But oh, don't be buying a new is... car, lol. She should have bought a car and got it waxed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at the end of that round, the scores are... Okay, okay, where are we? Uh, four in that round, six. I want us to... Six. Okay, we're at six. Uh, Richard and Noah have four points. Uh, David and Roisin have eight. Oh, okay. Big Nasty and Catherine have ten points in the league. <laughs> We've got to take a quick break now, so you've got a choice. You can either come back and join us after, or you can play Pictionary with your family. Yeah, thought so. See you in a minute. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. Our next round is all about film and TV in 2017. In July, the BBC announced they'd cast Jodie Whittaker as the first ever female Doctor Who. Some fans couldn't get on board with a female Doctor Who. Presumably thinking Daleks, sure, Cybermen, of course, Weeping Angels, all make sense, but a female Doctor is just not believable. <laughs> <laughs> Despite its controversial move to Channel 4, Bake Off remains a fan favourite. It's got great hosts, brilliant contestants, and the icing on the cake is literally the sugary stuff they put on the top of the cakes. <laughs> OK, first up, let's remind ourselves of some of this year's TV highlights. On your marks, get set, bake! Why do they leave? Ah! Only interested in one thing here and one thing only, and that's Ben Cobbles. You look like a tentative Nazi. <laughs> Sorry, what's glow? Gorgeous ladies of wrestling. I just found my favorite show, my children are schizophrenic. 
is Reiki. Wow. All right, how much of that did you recognize? <laughs> oh, bro. What? Did you recognize anything? I mean, Stranger Things? Things is the only thing. Uh, this yeah. is going to be a great... We're knocking this round out of the park, bro. Yeah, mark our words. I remember that sport. That sport was skiing. I think I know that sport when I see it, so... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here's and film questions for you. Okay. You, you biscuit. Biscuit. No. So you're just going to be saying I'm eating a biscuit next. <laughs> I better not be CCTV <laughs> footage of this. We haven't got any snacks. <laughs> I've got raisins if you want. Thank you. Oh. 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 They all want raisins. Oh. Oh. Hey, it's fun doing shows. The orange and black. <laughs> okay. Yeah. First up, Two I want to know <laughs> why a BBC News interview with Professor Robert Kelly became an internet sensation in March. No, any idea? No. All right, moving on. <laughs> oh, um. <sighs> Look at these three famous faces. We've got Meryl Streep, The Rock, and Matt Damon. What has flabbergasted all of them? What? Okay. Uh, 2017. When was this the first one? Oh, uh, uh, man. When did? I feel like he hosted it uh, before that last one. Right. He has hosted it multiple times. So he has a, a, a track record with the uh, the Golden Globes. Say Ricky Gervais. I'm going to say Globes. Ricky Gervais. 100%. Yeah. Why do they look surprised? What's going on there? Land. Next up, it's star of Brawl in Cell Block 99, Vince Vaughn. Oh, 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 sorry. I Before we go to the next question, La La Land was a big upset of why it either did or didn't win the Oscar. Huh. Yeah. Okay. We'll lock it in. Yeah. Vaughn. Oh, wow. Hi, Jimmy. Hard days filming. I love nothing more than to kick back and watch a cookery show. But like many <laughs> viewers on Twitter... I was very surprised by Mary Berry's bolognese recipe on her new show, Mary Berry Every Day. What ingredients did she add to this classic sauce? <laughs> okay, so Vince wants to know what Mary Berry added to a bolognese sauce that shocked viewers. Oh, man. There's so many things you could add to a bolognese sauce that would make it weird. I'm just going to say an excessive amount of sugar because that's happened before in my okay. life. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I want to say fruit. <laughs> fruit. Okay. Hey, that, that could work. That could work. Type of fruit. Get the yep. point. Okay, you all got something? All right. October reality show Love Island won best TV show at the Radio 1 Teen Awards. But what happened at the ceremony that eclipsed Love Island's win? Oh, it was so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to see if any of them had a nip slip or a ball slip. No. No, I don't see anything. What is this? What is going? That's I, I think that's the uh, no, that's the I think that's the May's crew party. Were you not at it? <laughs> I was barely at the filming. What is that, Jimmy? That's, that's Love Island. Island. Yeah, that's, that's the show Love Island. Love Island, Love Island is just an elaborate study about the effectiveness of the morning after pill. <laughs> they won a competition for the best television program. Yes, it against the, the other television program, <laughs> you know, Blue Planet and Faulty Towers. Well, I mean, I mean, they're, they're reality shows. Ah, suppose, right, best suppose... shit program. <laughs> You've lost control of the quiz. Thank you, Wizard Podium. <laughs> okay, take a look at the two clowns who appeared on this morning in September. <laughs> All I want to know is why are those clowns upset? Jimmy, yeah. Gonna... Just for consideration. Yeah. Do you ever do that with an owl, like on your shoulder? <laughs> with an owl. Like if there was an owl I there. Call it out immediately. You haven't really considered it. I met the owl, the Harry Potter owl. Her Did name you? is Olympia, and she is an absolute legend. Really well trained. I bet we could get her. I bet we could hook it up with my owl connections from working at Hooters, and then we can get Olympia. And you know what she eats? Frozen mice. When they eat the mice, are they still frozen? Because no. that would be be yeah. very refreshing on a hot day. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready for answers? Yes. I got answers. Okay. I asked you why a news interview with South oh, Korean wonderful. expert Professor Robert Kelly went viral back in March. What did you think? Roisin, David. We said his kids come in the room. Okay. <laughs> All right. What about Richard? No. Terminator. He was a Terminator. <laughs> but on South Korea, <laughs> you think he's a Terminator. <laughs> Do you know he's not a Terminator? <laughs> okay. Catherine, what's your answer to this? Kelly's kids ran in and his wife chased them and it wrecked the interview or did it or was it the most I fabulous made, north korean i think it interview? made an interview about south yeah. korea a little more, korea. more punchy let's have a look the question is how do democracies <laughs> respond to those uh, oh. and what will it mean for uh, for the wider region i think one of your children's just walked in i mean shift it shifting <laughs> shifting sounds in the region with the north may change 
Um, I would be surprised if they do. The region. <laughs> My apologies. North. Sorry. Um, North. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter who you are. Your kids will humble you. Mm. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It just doesn't fucking matter. They don't care about you because you're. It doesn't matter what you are to them. They're you're just bad. Right. Exactly. And and grandparents too. Because there's been instances where Ann Nana have walked in while we're recording. Yep. yep. It'll happen. It'll and happen. they'll humble you real quick. <laughs> it's so good. I mean, what I love about it just keeps on giving. The first kid walking yeah. in like that, it's already, that's enough to go viral. The second kid that can't even walk and walks in, that's remarkable. Just, whoa, I'm on a weird floating device. And then the mum coming in, my favourite bit is the end where she goes, I better crouch down and get the door. I don't, I don't think anyone's noticed. It was really a perfect video, the best thing I've ever seen. OK, so points, points, and because he doesn't mean to and then come back, terminate, no points. points. Point. No okay. points, Ten you points. weird wizard. Ten points. OK, I showed you three shocked celebrity faces. What I want to know is what caused their reactions? What, what did you put? We put they gave the Oscar to the wrong film and then didn't. <laughs> Team Payne, what have you got? They were constipated at the Ox o Oscars when they found out that they got given the wrong award in La La Land. Is that Meryl Streep? She's in all of those photos no, getting no. smaller and smaller. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here uh, and right here. That's awesome. Uh, That's great. We got the point. We yeah. got the point. So there you go. <laughs> By the way, sorry, Matt Damon. We ran out of time to uh, have you on. <laughs> Maybe we'll squeeze you in next episode. Matt Damon. <laughs> okay, what did you put, Richard? No? Oh, is it because... Oh. Um... But that they found out they were in a new title sequence for Dallas. So points, points, no points. Next, Vince Vaughn wanted to know what Matt added to a bolognese sauce. Human yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Human shit is your joke answer. Your genuine answer is Viagra. No, that's not true. We also did write down human shit. Yeah, Viagra, human shit. Up to you. Oh, that's um, Jay Z's kids. Viagra and human shit. <laughs> I needed a second. Sorry. God. <sighs> Big nasty, Catherine. This is Big Nasty's favorite show. He watches it. He knows the answer. Uh, so she put some cream and wine in that thing. Okay, what did you put, Roisin? We put down cream, so we got it right, and Dolmio. Well, cream and wine is the correct answer, oh. so I'm going to give the points to Big Nasty and Catherine. Okay, I mean, cream in a, a red sauce. I mean, I'm putting cheese over it at the, probably, so it probably doesn't make too much sense. And don't wine, that's not too out of the ordinary to kind of out the flavor. That's not, that shocked people? Uh, maybe they have a different kind of audience. Like, oh, that sounds... Yeah, people that don't know how to cook. Yeah. <laughs> That's who it is. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is the correct answer. Oh. Somebody to Big Nasty and Catherine. Woo! I think she's more of a cake expert. <laughs> that might be the thing. She's she tried somebody... to make bolognese more like a cake. <laughs> she probably pokes it because of the consistency of that sponge. <laughs> is terrible. <laughs> I mean, I you love a cake, be... but you can't turn spaghetti into a cake. You could do the sauce, then a layer of the pasta, yeah. then a layer of the sauce. Yeah. Yeah. You just invented lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you. Uh... Reminds me of um, when Cookie Monster from Sesame Street, like, did some of, you know, philosophical f musings of and food. One of them said was, lasagna, just spaghetti flavor cake. Yes. I <laughs> yeah. like that. A couple of my favorites are, your stomach, think all potatoes are mashed. Oh, I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> I should be laughing. That's fucking stupid. Lobster are mermaids. The scorpions. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. I'll move on. Uh, what happened on Teen Awards? Did Eclipse to Lylands win? What did you all think? The sun gave everyone a blowjob. <laughs> it, well, one of those is like a coupon. You cut it out and take it to your newsagent. <laughs> 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 Fair enough. <laughs>
We can now see Catherine, what did you get? Oh, it was incredible. So it was uh, Love Island won Best Reality TV Show, and they'd created this mechanism where the winners came from under the stage on this hydraulic machine. Like a, like a trap door, yeah. <laughs> and uh, as it was bringing them up, Gemma Collins, presenting the award, didn't know. So she was stood there just like, and the winner is Love Island. <laughs> and then the hole opened, and she just went like, Oh, okay. Over David Roisin, you got this as well? Yes, got this. Let's have a look at this lovely moment. Love Island! Oh, <laughs> oh my oh. god. Did oh. she ever get out of the hole? Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. The, the internet exists to capture moments like that. Exactly. I am I am for that. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Two clowns were so upset on this morning. What did you put? It was when he broke down on TV, in it? About the, that horror film. It. Yeah. That's the right answer. Was it? Uh, yeah, it was not. It was sort of slightly bro, give me the thing. We could stand on with you, bro. You <laughs> love me, Jimmy. Boom! <laughs> Mo Farrisane. <laughs> Can't believe he's got a catchphrase. He's been on telly two minutes. <laughs> OK, all right. So uh, what, what did you put, Roisin, David? Okay, because of making clowns seem creepy, <laughs> except they were always creepy. <laughs> I mean, that's correct. Big Nasty and Catherine, you because got that. Because it, and by it, I meant, I it. read it out wrong. I meant the film. Should have put some inverted commas. Richard, no? Um, self-pissy. <laughs> and also that they lost money or investments. <laughs> uh, well, let's take a look. Let's take a look. What do you think of, uh, of... Because it was the original, I think it was 1986, the, the book, which is usually cited as the start of fear of clowns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. In the, in the, in the mid-80s, when the chlorophobia or the fear of masks turned was in the mid-80s. Yeah. So whether the two are linked together. And tell me about, um, tell me about this particular clown. Um, the uh, clown. Penny, clown. Penny, Pennywise. It's not clown. They're the least funny ever seen. They are like anti-comedy. Jesus Christ. How dare you? I'm anti-comedy. <laughs> they say that this clown is a little bit, a little bit scary, Pennywise. He's all right. I like yeah. See how maybe they could ruin the career. It, it, Pennywise could ruin the career of the clowns. It, but their point, they were yeah. always kind of uh, scary. Uh, definitely hurt uh, red balloon sales. Yeah, yeah. For sure. He was, Pennywise was offering one with porn of it. Definitely just besmirched the name of good old-fashioned sewer dwellers. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, gave them all a bad name. Bad name. This is the this is the bad idea, guys. Come on, they all float down there. Like who's gonna float? Exactly. Anyway. Okay, points, <laughs> points, points. Now it's time for a special show you three film posters from this year, which have all been subtly improved. All you have to do is tell me what the film is. Here's the first one. Write down your answer. <laughs> Point three. Yeah. Beauty and the Beast. Yep. The one with um, Emma Watson. Yep. Yeah. All right, second one. Have a look. La La, La La Land. Yeah. Yeah. Dare you. Oh, All right, next one. Which which one? Batman. Was that? No, Batman? It's the Avengers. Avengers, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I see myself. <laughs> Let's look. See what you put. One. Uh, yellow lady. <laughs> now, I remember that's quite a big hit, wasn't it, lady? What was another name for it? What was it called, Catherine? That's Beauty and the Beast. Oh. Okay, and Richard, I know you got that as well. Let's have a look. If anything, better with me, but fine. Okay. Uh, no the, difference. Next one. What have you got, big nasty? Carl, Carl Lalland. Carl Lalland. Yeah, La La Land. Uh, Richard, no. La La Land. David, Roisin. La La Land, <laughs> Yellow Lady. <laughs> it, was, it was a sequel to Yellow Lady, because the character of Yellow Lady really took off. So they thought we've got to find something else for it. All right, and the third one? OK, so you, you put... Uh... Incredible Hulk and the Roman. You bet it's for it, OK. Yeah, uh, what did you put? Oh, Avengers. You put the Avengers. Oh, is it Avengers? Avengers. Which didn't come out this year. And Richard, no. We, we put the Avengers, but now, looking at it, it's <laughs> it's bloody Thor Ragnarok, and I feel like... <laughs> Thor Ragnarok, right answer, but you didn't get it. So, at the end of the round, these score... We're getting it. We're getting it. I don't give a shit. I'm Close shit. enough. That's Listen. a clean sweep. Three points. Yep, you know, that's... I don't shit. Yes, okay. If you want to nitpick, which I guess you could, don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People are always going to nitpick us about that's, this. That's two of the Avengers, and yeah. they avenged. Just not their full capacity. They semi avenged, and that still counts as avenging their Avengers. So I'll go. With, I'll I'll go with you. You know more about that than me. So. Balls are David have thirteen. Big nasty Ooh. and Catherine have seventeen. Yeah. Richard and Noel lucky to have six. <laughs> so what are we at? Ten. 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 Ten.
10. 10. Okay, so we're at least beating uh, Noel and Richard. Yeah. It's time to focus on the true meaning of Christmas, consumerism. We'll be back right after these ads. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. Our next round is all about the internet in 2017. Where would we be without the internet? Well, we'll find out next year when Russian cyber terrorists freeze our accounts. <laughs> in February, Disney cut ties with the world's highest paid YouTube star, PewDiePie. I love PewDiePie. He's my go-to guy whenever I want to watch someone I've never heard of talk about something I don't care about. <laughs> Ready for some more Big Fat Questions? These are all about the internet this year. First one. Can you remember why an evening at home for the Fleming family in County Kerry, Ireland went viral back in September. Oh, was that where they had a bat in the house? Like, yep. some... I'm going to say yes. Yeah. I am going to 100% say yes, because that shit was glorious. And I think that should be our answer for this. These questions from now on. You know what I mean? <laughs> a bat in the house. Right I now. vaguely remember reacting to it yep. on ETS. Yep, that shit was gold. Jimmy, help us. Look at us. We've got nothing. We've got six Jimmy, points. We've got so few points. <laughs> we are behind the audience right now. You're behind us right now. Yeah, bro. That's saying yeah. something. We are behind the audience right now. <laughs> they filmed the thing and it went viral. Oh. That's everything on YouTube. That's just right now. They <laughs> filmed the thing and it went viral. Next up, Nadia Hussein has a question for you. Nadia. Hi, Jimmy. Like everyone, I love sharing pictures of food on social media, but this year, 16-year-old Carter Wilkerson set a world record when in April he tweeted about his favorite food, becoming the most retweeted message ever. Can you remember what it was about? So most retweeted message ever, what was it about? I don't know. Do you have anything? What we, like, when they, they don't know how to spell chicken Caesar salad and they butcher it, I'm just thinking a, a tweet, right? So... It could have been something absolutely ridiculous. So <laughs> that's the best we got for this yep. one. During the general election campaign, Conservative MP for East Yorkshire, Greg Knight, became an unexpected internet hit. He posted a campaign video that went viral. Can you remember why that campaign video was so remarkable? Who is it, Greg Knight? It's Greg Knight. We've got a picture of him there. I'm pretty sure that's him, not a waxwork yes. of him. He looks like Peep Show without a beard. <laughs> I'm going to have to defend my tinsel sister. <laughs> Struggling to take that as a compliment. Mo Ferris sign. Thank you. I forget what that is even meant to be. <laughs> Go on, Jim. You want to put it up there, Jim? <laughs> Let's only answer. Rushy, him none of this. Oh. No. More no, questions. <laughs> Do you think though? Because Big Ben says bong, right? When they bring it back, should they get it to say Ben? Yeah, it just sounds oh. like you've lost an animal you no longer oh. care about. <laughs> ben. Oh, Ben. <laughs> Probably dead now. Ben. It's been two weeks. Oh. Ben. Punch off. Tell him he's lost control of the show. You lost yeah. control of the quiz, Bon! <laughs> Did you just call Noel Yo, Bon? I, I respond. I don't know names. Let's keep it short. <laughs> OK, Trump's presidency. Poncho. Okay. <laughs> uh. So, it, it, Noel is Poncho. Does that make Richard lefty? Yeah. Much. You, you tell me you get that reference, please. I do. Okay, God. But yeah. I responded. I don't know names. I'm sorry, I don't know names. Let's keep it short. Okay, Trump's presidency got off to a rocky start this year, and he continued to put in the hours on Twitter. Can you complete this tweet he sent on the 31st of May? Despite the constant negative word. press, what? complete the tweet. Cafefe. It's it's like it was a misspelling of coffee. I think. Okay. Confess. All right. Yeah, I'll go with you on that. Yeah. Okay. Couldn't be easier. Okay. Finally for this round, why did this picture of the then two-year-old Isla Walton <laughs> from Exeter take the internet by storm back in March? <laughs> oh, that is him. Is that, that's Ed Sheeran. Right, right. Baby Ed Sheeran. Wow. Yeah. That's Ed Sheeran. If you write that down, you might get a fucking point. But Ed Sheeran. I've been on Buzzcocks with him. It's definitely him. OK, everyone finished? You all got something? Let's have some answers. So I asked you why the Fleming family from County Kerry went viral earlier this year. What did you think? They filmed the thing and it went viral. They did what, sorry? They filmed the thing and it went viral, in brackets, Jimmy said. Must be right. Big nasty, Catherine. 
Okay, so the answer is, I've put up cork, <laughs> because my family is from cork. So up cork is an important part of my answer. Okay. And with my Irish roots, I know that it was a bad attack. Okay, what did you put? David Roshi? Never mind how bad it was. <laughs> what attacked them? <laughs> it was a bad one of his relatives, the vampire's relatives. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> We're here to stay calm, man. Come on, Jimmy, sit down. All right, so what, what did you get, David? They were trying to catch a bat. And crucially, it was video. <laughs> there may be many, many hilarious bat catching antics that are lost to posterity. <laughs> Let's treat ourselves to a little look at this family trying to catch a bat. Catch him! Dirty! Nice! Yes. There's a bat! Do you have a bat out of the house? Mom, will you get out? Dirty, will you catch him? Catch him, Dirty! Bigger towel, that's it. Get him, quick! Get him! Oh, fuck it! God, Dirty! Oh! You're doing a great job, Derry. You're oh, that's it. Stand up, Derry. Oh! Did you get him? No, he's there. He's making a mockery out of you, boy. You get down off the... Take off them shot. The dog's pissing! Dad, the dog's pissing! Oh, fuck it! Oh, oh. Yeah, that was a clip. We get the point. Oh, Come boy. on! That was gold, dude. That was a legendary clip right there. Okay, so Hussein wanted to know what Carter Wilkerson tweeted to become the most retweeted message ever. What have you got? I thought maybe it was feed him green, keep him keen. No. But my associate but disagrees. Above that, you've written nuggets, bro. Yeah. Okay. Nuggets, brackets of edible matter. <laughs> Good. Okay. And I can't remember what the question is, but I put a moose anus. Which, you know, this could be a nugget. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I tell you, he asked fast food chain Wendy's for a year's supply of chicken nuggets in exchange for 18 million retweets. And th there he is. He couldn't be happier. And that's Beyonce's wow. one of the twins. <laughs> I remember that legendary tweet. That's crazy. He got free nuggets for a year. Like That's awesome. That could never happen these days. No. I asked you why Tory MP Greg Knight became a hit during the general election. Why did Greg Knight become such a hit during the election? Because he had a song that lasted three weeks. <laughs> OK. Uh, what about Big Nasty? We thought about things that went viral, and, and we didn't know, so we thought maybe he got a cat involved or he did a dance. OK. Uh, Richard? Put, he buried an abstract mm. concept. <laughs> well, I can tell you, you got it absolutely right with the, uh, with the song. Should we treat ourselves? I mean, it's quite extraordinary. Oh, OK. Hello, my name's Greg Knight. I'm the Conservative candidate for East Yorkshire. There's a general election on the 8th of June, and I hope, if you live in East Yorkshire, that you'll vote for me. Oh, yeah. You know? It's that old that Miami Vice thing. You like the beat? Song? Yeah. All right, well, yeah. hang on. We've got the lyrics. Do you want to try and give it, give it vibes? Because I think there's a lack of vibes on that. Let's have that yeah. again. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Run the rhythm. DJ, hit me now. Be <laughs> Totally shite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nice, nice. Oh. You might listen to that and go, the, you're totally shite ending to the song. Not quite what he was looking for. <laughs> he won as well. Who was running Look against at, him? Yeah. But, <laughs> looking at that video, the level of party funding in this country hasn't quite reached American <laughs> levels, has it? <laughs> Someone decided that he should start outside the room. Yeah. <laughs> you know, get me in. I've been, a, I've been about. <laughs> also, I like that they said, well, during the song, it's probably best not to focus on your face anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to a poster stuck up with sellotape yeah. on the outside. Like, you've never stuck up a poster on a wall It would have been better if he, at the beginning, emerged from a cupboard. That <laughs> yes. would have been really... That would have... Yes. It would, there's mystery there. Yes. There's a sort of narrative. Why was he in the cupboard? <laughs> OK, I asked you to read the tweet from Donald Trump, despite the constant negative press, what did you put? I still put my penis up my bum. <laughs> what did you put, Big Nasty? I blocked him on Twitter. I told him to suck his mum, so... <laughs> <laughs> blocked him? <laughs> Can you just stop hounding me, Donald? <laughs> OK, what have you written there, Catherine? We guess, despite the constant negative press, my followers are dumb and disenfranchised enough to trust me. We just we thought got with you it. You thought you got one true tweet during the year? Because they do. <laughs> they just, just... Doesn't matter what he tweets. They will always love him. What, uh, what did you... Well, it was, we put... It was a gibberish word, but um, we weren't sure how to spell it, so we've had a few goes. Confe confetti. Which, because it has no meaning, probably is the only thing that isn't a lie. It was, yeah, it was a negative press 
Called Fei Fei. Jimmy, we put that bottom left. <laughs> 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 come, yeah, we got it right. Called Fei Fei. Called Fei Fei. got that? Hang on, they're claiming left. they got that. Where is it? Bottom come on, Fei. Under Look no at Sarah. Screen. Oh, yeah, all right. Left of penis. The title of my autobiography. <laughs> so points, points, no points. Yeah. We get a point for that one. Have we, have we? Is that the only point we've gotten in this round? We got one, the bat video. Oh, we got the bat one. Okay, so that's two points. Okay. Yeah. Lastly, I asked you why did Isla Walton take the internet by storm? What do you put? <laughs> you all got this? Because she's Ed Sheeran. <laughs> she looks like Ed Sheeran. Let's have a look uh, side by side. It's yeah. so cute. So I'm sure she's going to be a very pretty young girl, but that, she looks amazing like Ed Sheeran in that. All right, it's now time to welcome a special guest. It's Liam Charles from the Great British Bake Off. Hey, man. I know she's good. Yes. Oh. 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 No, take that off. No, no, no. Take just one of these. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're not messing around. This is Christmas. My daughter yeah. cried when you left, and then we couldn't watch it anymore. Seriously? Yeah. I don't eat mince. We no. <laughs> Who thought that Liam should have won? Yeah. Thank you, my love. Do you want to talk, David? Yes, boy. Thank you very much. No, thanks, lovely. I Thank love you very much, though. <laughs> I love actually, we'll have to pop. Change my mind. Yeah. <laughs> well, you leave the tray over there okay, with them. Cool. That'll be yeah. fine. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Now, tell us, you're still... Uh, you, obviously, you did brilliantly on Bake Off. Thank now, you. You're still at university, right? Yeah, third year. Third year at university, mm -hmm. and you're on Bake Off. What did everyone else at university make of it? Um, everyone was really like, positive about the whole thing. Um, it was a bit going back the first day, because, like, there were so many people double-taking all the time. I was like, yeah, it is me. I'm a deal. No, what was your favourite uh, cake? The Liam did quite a lot of flavours that I liked. He did lots of caramel flavours, lots of butterscotch, lots of banana. So I always liked his stuff. Liam made a cool, like, pie that had win it and all kinds of good That's things. That's curry goat. Curry goat, my G. Bro, I made curry goat pie. <laughs> curry goat cake. Yes. No, no, yeah. it was like a hand-raised pie. Yeah, and he left moves in. <laughs> and the horns and all sorts. Come on, bad man thing, you know. Look at your what's happening. He's gluten-free. <laughs> I don't think there's any gluten in a goat. <laughs> OK, you've got a question for us, Liam. What's, okay. what's your question? I do have a question. Oh, it's in your bag. Cool. Okay. So, which craze of the year was banned from schools in 2017? Which what, cra craze? Craze. Fidget spinners. I think this is the year of fidget spinners. Because I remember vividly the amount of fidget spinners I had to clean up uh, during the 2017 year. I was a school bus driver at the time. This was my second fidget year, I think. Spinners. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Praise. And now. No. Okay. So from schools. David, oh. did you ever wonder that? Don't call him David. Call oh. him Peep Show. <laughs> Sorry, the what? That thing that I'm doing the second button from the top would be a little bit racy. But like, this is, yeah, yeah. This is sex appeal. Thanks. OK, so have you all answers? I think I know, because my daughter goes to school and her teacher, Jack, banned dabbing because it, like, bothered him or something. So banned? Like, what? Dabbing. dabbing, you know this? I thought dabbing was sort of like, you know, dab something. <laughs> no, so... Dab, not like that. That's not dabbing. Do you go on some dabbing? That's it. <laughs> Richard, no, what have you got? Fidget spinners. Oh! Okay, uh, David Roshi. We put fidget spinners. Okay, well, tell them. Actually, fidget spinners. Yay! All right. And brought you fidget spinners. Yay! Oh. 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 Have you used these before? Yeah. Spin them, but I'm the rest of the show, isn't it? Oh, oh. Look, look. Nephew's a pro. He does this thing, right, where he's like, Uncle, Uncle, look what I can do. And he goes, ah, he puts it on his head and he spins it. Let go with one finger. Oh, right, right okay. Hey. Oh, why, by the Go on, Jimmy. <laughs> oh. Ah, it really gets you in the eye, though. <laughs> okay, let's take a look and see what that's under the scores. Okay, so... Uh... Okay, okay, what are we doing now? We are at 14. 14. All right, cool, 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 cool. Yep. Nine points. Nine points. Nine nine points. Nine. And Roisin has 19. Big Nasty and Catherine are one ahead with 20. All right. mm, sorry. We're going to take a quick break now to play with our fidget spinners. But ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Liam Charles! Can't believe that. It's also coming up. Did you ever own a fidget spinner? I have maybe... Uh, on the low end, like, maybe 50. In the house currently. Oh, not you mine. have in not yours, but Nine there are possession. some in in the, in in the area's household. I have yes, and I broke my fucking pen. Oh my god! <laughs> we had a bit. Of Isn't a that problem. every okay? I'm not the only one that does this, guys. I'm talking to you, right? When there is this clip, you must break it. It is just this this thing that we have, right? That it yeah. just must be broken. Yeah. 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 Okay. The uh, ink in there. It's Negative. so writable. Okay. It very. All right. Very, cool. 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 Yeah. Uh, needed to be sure that I didn't need to take over, you know? Yeah. All right. Cool. 
to the Big Fat Quiz. This next round is all about the sport of 2017. Who can forget the sporting events of this year is exactly what we're about to find out. <laughs> Usain Bolt retired in 2017. He's won eight Olympic gold medals and 11 World Championship golds. But he ended his career in August with a bronze, like a loser. OK, time for some more Big Fat Questions all about sport this year. OK, in March, Madeira Airport was renamed in honour of Cristiano Ronaldo, but what aspect of the renaming ceremony caught everyone's attention, with some describing it as a monstrosity? Renamed Aeroporto Cristiano Ronaldo, which is a great name for an airport. Any guesses? None. Absolutely none. none. Less than none. Yeah, we'll move on. MMA fighter Conor McGregor's boxing match against Floyd Mayweather took place in Vegas. Why did McGregor's choice of outfit raise eyebrows at the pre-fight press conference? Because he's not Oh, I, I know. Just like his underwear? Okay, next. Like, it, it was just underwear? Yeah, wasn't it like was there something revealing? I, I feel like I remember the hype up to it, but that's all I remember. So I'm going to guess that. Like his, right. his, his appealing, but... Whatever. Or it yeah. could not be. Whatever. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you got a guess than I do, which is nothing. Over to Claire Balding. Hi, Jimmy. An athlete's diet is very important, but it's quite unusual to take a snack break mid-competition. But in February this year, a quick bite resulted in a footballer from Sutton United receiving a £375 fine and a two-month ban from the FA. Can your teams tell me what happened? So why was that football player fined and banned i'm gonna have to answer it now oh man he uh, out he, he on the field is yeah. this to be food related he left a wrapper on the field that's all i got what happened so why was that football oh, player maybe he fined spit and banned it on someone else oh he spit it on someone else maybe oh. i would i'm just trying to think of the game <laughs> and that's that's i feel like possible yeah so you're saying he the rapper i want to say he spit that food in someone's face Got it, got it. You are the guy, and you've been taking over the channel all this week, so. <laughs> Far from football guy, bro. But, yeah, the guy, <laughs> I, I, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people who are watching those videos aren't watching Big Fat Quiz, so yeah. you could say it on here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you now. Team, no, you can no, just write said, it down. Oh. Team Payne, we want to know. Is How could he... you not have got the hang of this by now? <laughs> you, haven't said the, you haven't said the Tinsel Sisters for a while. Tinsel Sisters? You are the Tinsel Sisters. Yeah. Thank you. Clyde, you are the Tinsel Sisters. Team Payne and Cakes in a Maze. Thank Aren't you. we sharks with no knees or something? No. <laughs> We're not sharks with no knees. Jimmy. We're not Jimmy. Do you want a team name? Yeah, I'd love to have a team what name. What do you want to call yourself? No seat Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everyone, let's get on with the quiz. Um, in November of the year, Grand Slam Queen Serena Williams got married. Congratulations to her. She wore an Alexander McQueen gown and looked fabulous, but what was unusual about her shoes? Yeah, but what's your name? I'm finding it hard to connect with you because we're all teams and you're just Jimmy. That's not think... the reason you're finding yeah. it hard to connect. Maybe the puppet from Goosebumps? It should sound a little plural rather than just an attack on yourself. Yeah, leave that to us, Jimmy. Yeah. How about you feel like the patriarchy? How dare you? <laughs> exactly. Shh, shh, no, men talking, please. <laughs> <laughs> patriarchy. <laughs> this year, Olympic Michael Phelps lost no. a high-profile race. Do you remember who his unusual That's... opponent was? Oh. Oh, man. Dolphin. Dolphin. There you go. I feel like that's the only competition for Michael Phelps. Yeah, pretty much. Who was it? Yeah. Okay, are you ready for some answers? I was born ready. ready. Thank you. All right, first up I asked, what caught everyone's attention at the renaming of Madeira Airport? What did you all have? They made a statue uh, of uh, Ronaldo's head, but it wasn't Ronaldo's head, it was Greg Davies' head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, what did you put, uh, Big Nasty, Catherine? You said it was monstrous and I didn't, I don't know who that is. And I guessed maybe one of his balls has filled with fluid. Not even wrong, I'm going to say no. You don't know No. that one of his balls is not filled with fluid. Cause <laughs> I that know is... a lot about his balls. They're perfect, I'm sure. Yeah, that'd be so... Is it's that... one of the balls. It's just a question I of volume. I have seen a ball that... <laughs> OK, uh, Richard, no, what did you get? Statue, in brackets, gold. OK, let's take a look. Well, I mean, you're absolutely right. You'd make a statue of Cristiano Ronaldo, and it did look a bit like Greg Davis. It does look like... They <laughs> did. It was so dirty. Yeah, yeah. It does. Mr. Gilbert had a stroke. Yes. Oh, God.
Phil, my favourite thing about that is, presumably <laughs> in the day before that, the presentation, that the sculptor was going, what do you think? And someone must have gone, yeah, no, it's good. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. I most like him. I think the mistake with that bust is that making of him smiling. You don't usually do statues of people doing a big grin. <laughs> I think that's probably why. You know, no, when you go to Falga <laughs> Square, so all those generals, they're not going... Yeah. Probably with a go for the solemn face yeah. look. You, I've never seen a yeah. normally. Don't the really Winston see... Churchill in Parliament <laughs> Square, he's not going. <laughs> I asked you what was unusual about Conor McGregor's outfit. What did you think? Uh, oh, Richard, we, no, we've yes. got one. Yes, thank you. So really? that um, passive aggressive comment. <laughs> we didn't stipulate actual um, offence, but it can a swear. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay, it contains a swear, we'll do. Uh, big nasty? Yeah, it had a few other sides than that. And also, it was super tiny. Um, David, did you, uh, Regis? Yes? Yes. Well, let's look. You're absolutely right. He wore a suit well, with a swear. With, with f fuck you on it. Sewed into it, which... That's um... really cool. I've oh. seen a lot of tailors who do that. Oh. Hey, that's dope. Yeah. That, I would, I would love that. I would absolutely love that suit. It's just, yeah, it's all over. I absolutely love that suit because I bet from afar it looks like a pinstripe. Yeah, yeah. See, see that. Yes. That is that is yeah. awesome. Yeah. What would you have your tailor emblazon in there if you could choose a saying? I would. All the way, everyone would say tax deductible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Claire Balding said, "Why did a, a Sutton United footballer receive a two-month ban and a three hundred and seventy-five pound fine?" What did you get? Um, a man. What's he called? The man and the thing that you were saying. <laughs> All of that stuff. The man and the thing that I was saying. Yeah. yeah. So far, so good. Okay. Yeah. He ate a p and put a bet on when he was gonna eat. Eat. Whether he eat. <laughs> yeah. So much fucking sugar. <laughs> <laughs> he had. Um. He. David. Finish. Yes. <laughs> The guy in the football match ate a pie, having previously put a bet on that he'd eat a pie, and then won the bet because he did eat the pie, but that was against the rules, so he got fined. Football fans are obsessed with who's eating the pie. <laughs> and then he resigned. He resigned. The Only, pie. was he? He was the guy. That's he needed the, to eat that a is pie. That is the right answer. And yeah. can I just say, <laughs> the worst delivered right answer we've ever had. <laughs> it's entirely right, though. Um, Give it what, time. what did you get? Big nasty, Catherine? Yeah. We knew it. He broke the, the rules, didn't he, by eating the pie? OK, uh, Richard, no? Ate a pie. Yeah. There was odds eight to one on him eating during the match, so he ate a pie. <laughs> OK, I wanted to... Man, so, so I said a, uh, rapper. a rapper. You said... Spit food out. It. None, of them, one of, none of them are close, are they? No. Uh, no. I didn't so. ...to know uh, what was unusual about Serena Williams' uh, shoes when she got married. They were tennis rackets. You are so <laughs> close. And it also had to draw a snail saying that, so if it's That's not the right, right answer, we didn't say it. Blame the snail. Blame the machine. She had three of them. She was wearing three shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my <Come> favourite <laughs> thing anyone said at all night. Three. <laughs> she was wearing three shoes. Where's the third shoe? On her other leg. What? So <laughs> 50 <laughs> points. <laughs> now, OK, you. big nasty. Catherine, what did you get? She had diamond tennis shoes. Like she, had, she put some of these on her, on her wraps. Yeah, that is the answer. Let's is take it? a look. Yeah. Those are her oh, Mortez right. trainers, bejeweled with real crystals. And look what I'm doing with my spinner, bro. I know. Stop, stop. <laughs> to be fair, since you gave us fidget spinners, you ain't heard a peep out of me in there. <laughs> they really do work. Uh, I would say there's nothing really unusual. I mean, she's a t <laughs> on her wedding, she wore sort of specially posh tennis shoes. That's yeah. the answer to the question, what was unusual, is there was nothing unusual. It's just, <laughs> it's just expected. It's so unoriginal as to be not worth mentioning. Next, I wanted to know who Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps lost uh, a race to this year. <laughs> seated shark. Seated shark. <laughs> seated shark. You're so happy with seated shark. Or a, or a human yeah, arm. That arm coming in from the right. I will give you that seated shark. Thank you. <laughs> You've written what, Catherine? You tried to race, Jaws. Yeah, OK, I'll give you that. And what, did you get this? Uh, yeah, we we non-member of Boyzone. Brackets, <laughs> call back. Thank you. Well, let's take a look. And this goes to show the Discovery Channel are out of ideas. Swimmers, take your mark. I mean, I don't get that. They added the shark in post-production, right? And then went, yeah, it turns out he lost. Yeah. Well, the human is going to beat a giant fish at Tell swimming. He might as well get a high jumper to take on a pigeon. <laughs> Who can jump higher, the man or the pigeon? Oh, the man's doing quite well. Oh, the pigeon's doing quite well. Oh, the, pig oh, the pigeon's still going. Oh, the, pigeon. <laughs> oh, the pigeon's just completely fucked off now, and the man has landed. What I love about that race is people were really upset that it was a CGI shark. 
They were no, like, they didn't put him in with a real one. Yeah, they, they were upset. They, they tweeted, if you're a real shark, we tuned in for a real shark. So they eat you, didn't well, yeah, like, well, it would have... might have been him, because as people are at pains to say, sharks don't eat many people, compared to, say, hippos, who don't Do eat hippos them. eat people? Yeah, they hippos don't eat, eat them, they're lot, vegetarians, they? but they kill them. Hippos kill loads Just of people. No way! They do, yeah. Yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. Do you got like, the tabloids and the media, because the media's got <laughs> the real gangbanger. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Also, marbles. But they're yeah. fucking hippos mental really for marbles. Dumb. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm giving us a point, because I said dolphin. Right. I was, I was just going to let them cook, and, yeah... Yeah, dolphin, shark, close enough. And, and, and listen, I'm from Maryland, so we're getting that point. Yeah, exactly. If anything, yeah. it's th Look that at all that stuff principle. in the back. Yeah, exactly. It's principle. Can't get a Michael Phelps question wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, wait, what? Like, it's uh, the media. Shit. Oh, please suggest some big nasty to us. We want yeah. it so bad now. At least I do. I don't know yes. about you, Dan. Yes, man. Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Okay, let's see how you're doing after that. So, Richard and Noel, you've got a 13, which is not bad for you, considering <laughs> David and Roisin have 23, Very Big cool. Nasty and Catherine have 24, just <laughs> in the lead. All right, where are we? 15. 15, okay, we're still in third. All right, all right. Yeah. After the break, because to be honest, I'm not comfortable being left alone with these people. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Our next round is all about people. Considering there are 7.6 billion people on the planet, it's absolutely incredible that Donald Trump is the man Vladimir Putin picked to be president. <laughs> In July, Vince Cable became leader of the Lib Dems. Yeah, that's right, Vince Cable and Lib Dems both still exist. <laughs> O.J. Simpson was released on parole this year. What's next for O.J.? Well. He's a charismatic American celebrity with a short temper and a history of misogyny. Maybe he'll run for president. <laughs> and for some more big fat questions. In November, man of the year Stormzy found himself in a spot of bother at the MTV VMAs. He asked his Snapchat followers for help. What was his predicament? David Mitchell knows. Of course he does. For our next question, Nothing. it's over to one of the world's finest actors, Charles Dance, uh... who's reading an extract from an autobiography released in 2017. All I want to know is, who is the mystery author? Chapter 4, February 2016. Gary was being so affectionate and complimentary to me all night. He was whispering stuff in the club. Tonight we're not having sex, we're making love. I told him I didn't know what that meant, but it sounded amazing. He then said, we'll be kissing the whole time. It'll be slow, then fast. Sounded so sexy. We snuck off back to the shag pad for our very first lovemaking session. Oh All I kept thinking was, I hope I've shaved my fanny. But Gary was a bit worse for wear. There wasn't anything sexy about that. The whole room was spinning. He puked all over the floor. What the hell? Gary's never sick and it stunk. If this is what making love is all about, then rule me out. I'm all right with a quick shag. Because of the smell in the shag pad, we went back to my bed in the girls' bedroom to sleep. I had a brucey bonus because we woke up a few hours after we'd passed out and started to get frisky. Making love to Gary was like the first time I tried a cheeseburger. <laughs> Sexy, sensual, and satisfying. What kind of cheeseburger are you having? And where can I get it? All right, so think, think immediately of reality stars. And I can't. I can't. I got nothing, Brute. Nothing. I'm sorry. Bro. That was Charles Dance there. So whose autobiography was he reading from? So presumably whoever wrote that only tried a cheeseburger as an adult. That's so sad. <laughs> Jeremy Corbyn had a very successful year, but can you remember what happened when he tried to high-five Shadow Foreign Secretary Emily Thornbury back in June? What happened when he tried to <laughs> high-five? <laughs> oh, man, I vaguely remember something was it a, a blind person must have been a blind person didn't realize that the person was blind i was gonna say she she cowered away she thought she was, he was gonna hit her so either one of those are decent answers i'd say what happened it's up over to head balls good evening jimmy as a former shadow chancellor i love hearing about young entrepreneurs so this year i was thrilled to read about nathan john baptiste a 15-year-old schoolboy who was reported to be turning over more than £20,000 before his school put a stop to it. Can your teams remember what his business was? What type It wasn't selling lemonade, that's for damn sure. Oh, man, I bet it's something fucking stupid, like pencils. 
something just ridiculous like backpacks or fixing zippers or some stupid shit like that yeah yeah or candy just yep there's always that one in every public school <laughs> that had you knew they would grow up to either be a drug dealer or some white collar crime or a local politician or he could have been just moving crystal meth could have been could put have been. it out there i have a business did 15 year old nathan john baptiste set up at school now it's time for us to say what you see. Oh, God. Simple. Oh. Just say what you see. There we go. Prince, Willie, bald, lip, mouth, no idea, something, Rihanna, tired. Polo? Is that say polo? What the shit? Prince, uh, something, head, head. There you go. Prince Edward. I don't know why. Prince Ed, Edward? Oh, uh, I have no fucking idea. I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna play it. These yep. always trip us up. This is the longest yeah. one we've had in a in a while. The question is just in what you're seeing. If you just say those things, Mitchell. actually don't say what you see. Write down what you see. And it's a write down what you see question. Write down what you can see. <laughs> Ready for some answers? Are we? Okay. So I asked you in November, man of the year, Stormzy found himself in a spot of bother at the MTV VMAs. What was the problem? Gemma Collins fell on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good answer. What's, what do you got? Locked in the stalls. He was locked in the cubicles. He was taking the dump and got trapped in the women's toilets. Hang on. How do you know? <laughs> he must have gone in the women's toilets. Yes, that Unless is. the dump propelled him into the women's toilets. Well, you know, the toilet. the male's <laughs> toilets, so there's all we in the toilets and stuff. David Roisin, did you get this? We did. Uh, we've said Stormzy got stuck in the loo because he was too big for his boots. Oh, come on! Points all round on that one. Charles Dance read an extract from a celebrity autobiography out this year. Whose was it? Oh, what do you think? No? Roger Black. You thought it was Roger Black? <laughs> the hurdler. The hurdler. The Olympic hurdler, Roger Black. <laughs> We've lost the fucking will to live. Roger Black. <laughs> I thought Roger Black was one of the most handsome athletes of all time, wasn't he? He can't write a good shit. reference. <laughs> I have not Roger heard Black. Roger Black, Black referenced in some time. <laughs> nice. But it's not Roger Black. Big Is nasty, what do you put for this? This is Charlotte from Geordie Shore. They was getting mortal. They were bounced on Gaz's cock. That's nice. very good. Uh, David Rashim, what have you got? We thought either Charlotte Crosby or Princess Anne. <laughs> you thought that might have been from Princess I Anne? I haven't read either of their autobiographies, <laughs> so I couldn't be sure, but they it just seemed her turn of voice. <laughs> OK, let's go to Charles Dance for the answer. That was an extract from Brand New Me, the memoirs of Charlotte Crosby. Let's get mortal. No. <laughs> oh, very well done. OK. Oh. Uh, thank you, Charles Dance. God love you. OK. No, uh, Jeremy had a very successful year. Can you remember what happened when he tried to high-five Shadow Secretary Emily Thornberry back in June? He went into the future. <laughs> <laughs> in a sense, he did. He did continue into the future. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, in terms of the continuum, yeah. you cannot... He didn't freeze in time. Yeah. Yeah. He went into he the future. future. He didn't travel back in time. No, I mean, you're in a sense. Exactly. We're not an actual 50 sense. Points. We're not no. 50, 50 points. Stop hungry, saying hungry, 50 Jimmy. points. We're not right in a sense. We're just right. Um, but David? He slapped her boob. <laughs> when I read, I say it, and David writes it down. It says it. <laughs> OK, big nasty. Yeah, can I try press that on still? <laughs> Let's take a look at the, the incident in question. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, oh, bro. They didn't look at each other's elbows. No, okay. exactly, exactly. I've taught all of y'all that just look <laughs> at the other person's elbow. You will not miss at all. And if you didn't take anything from my UK trip, that's what you should have taken. Yep. It yep. works every time. And then if you do that, it, it, there's going to be less titty grabbing. So <laughs> there's a lot of things I want to say right now, but I I want to keep this channel monetized. Patreon? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For, for Patreon, it's not even that. <laughs> Do you think that's his first go at high fiving? <laughs> Wait, I would say. Hold so. on, come on. I need to know something, bro. Can you back it up ten seconds? I need to. I have. What the fuck in the Willy Wonka is that dude in the background with the top hat? What is his position in government? Because I'm there for it. What, what is that? The bumblebee keeper. I don't know. Y'all let what us know. What is that? I love that. Okay. Do you think that's his first go at high-fiving? I would say so. What do you think they're thinking there? The other the two of them, he's just slapped her boob by it. <laughs> smiling like it didn't happen. What's going through their heads? Are they going, do you think no one noticed? OK, Ed asked you, uh, what 15-year-old uh, businessman Nathan John Baptiste set up at school? What was his business? His Sweatshop! 
Sweet shop? Sweat shop. Sorry, sweat shop. <laughs> I thought you put sweet shop. I was going, yeah, cool. No, a business, is it? <laughs> You're 20,000 pounds a year he's turning over in the sweet shop. They got it. Sweet. It sweat shop. Really, sorry, it's just a spelling error. We meant <laughs> sweet shop. Um, well, what did we put? Haulage. <laughs> nail bar. Either haulage <laughs> or, or nail, nail bar. You've got a nail bar in the toilets of your school. Yes. You've got the dryers there. <laughs> <laughs> You get the points, Big Nasty and Catherine. He set up a sweet shop. It was turning over £20,000 a year. He had 11 employees. Wow. I don't know why the school shut it down. It strikes me as excellent. OK. I wow. 11 employees, too? Dude was cleaning up at 15. And the way you take care of it is you shut them down. And now that's probably when he started slinging math. Yeah. Because yeah. you're trying to make honest business. And there's a, well, fuck it. Yeah. Ice candy, selling candy, so we get the point there. Boom, look at that. That's almost mm -hmm. worth quadruple. Exactly. 50 points. Man. <laughs> I asked you to say what you saw. What have you got, Richard? No. Quince yeah. <laughs> will it announced retirement. <gasps> they got it. I know. Yeah. yeah. Remarkable. Remarkable. <laughs> oh, okay. Prince, Prince. and ounces tire mint. Fuck y'all. Seriously. Prince. How the fuck do we know that's Phil? Because they just said it. That's it. That All right. We like to get, get one it? right to prove we're not idiots. Of course I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be really honest. We had Prince Philip retirement, and then we were not sure about announced. But we definitely... Oh, read. that's Aiken. That was on TV with that woman. That's Anne Sun. Anne, 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 Anne She is a Peyton, yeah. yeah. Why didn't you like Anne become? Why? Because, yeah. She's for, she tries to go on that. She's she about the streets and stuff, and she cares about poor people. She's in a warped life, bro. I am no fan of Anne Widdicombe, but I would not say she's someone who pretends she either knows about the streets or cares about poor people. Uh, I would say she has not projected that image. Yeah. OK, so uh, you got absolutely right, David Mitchell. Oh. What did you...? Uh, the same. Prince Philip announces retirement. OK, it's points, points. We need full phrase. OK, time for a bonus round. This is the part of the show where I introduce a mystery guest. All you have to do is guess who they are and how they made the news this year. And you can only ask yes or no questions. Please welcome our mystery guest. Yay! Questions. He made the news this year. Quite a big story. Did you tweet something? No. Did you see something? Yes. <laughs> and if it's you see the... something, say something. Did you smell something? <laughs> yes. Did you witness something? Yes. Was it in London? No. Was it in Britain? Yes. Was it in England? Yes. Was it in the north of England? No. Was I've got to say, this is one of my favourite conversations ever. <laughs> At current point, this is like tennis. Wait, Let's you see. didn't tweet it. Tweet it. You didn't share it. Did you share something? Yes. Was it a criminal, what you saw? No. Was it in an urban area of more than 200,000 inhabitants? <laughs> yes. Was, Was it, it in Coventry? Funny? No. Was it in Bristol? Did it yes. go back? Yes! yes. yes. Melton saw and witnessed a funny thing that happened in Bristol. Someone farted? Yes. What? what? Someone in Bristol farted. It's, it's but this yes, you're on the news? right lines. You're getting warmer with that. Someone yes. in Bristol farting is not a massive story. <laughs> More than farted as a clue. Shat. Yes. Is it, is it an animal? No. No. So Shat themselves in Bristol. <laughs> Again, I'm not thinking front page. <laughs> <laughs> Shat themselves is the dream compared to what happens. Oh, I okay. remember this. Okay, oh. right to what you think it might yeah, yeah. be. It oh. involves someone <laughs> shat and it made the news. This guy was involved. I can't remember exactly what happened. Well, you've got to have a little think. <laughs> was that a festival? It was not a no. festival. I got it wrong, then. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Oh, we'll write it down. <laughs> okay, let's have a look and see what they put. Well, first, Big Nasty thought it was festival related and public choice. We crossed that out and then we put. Bristol poo energy system. Okay, that's anything. <laughs> Richard, yeah, no, what have you got? Band? If they pooed, it went up like. Is that a, a Bristol? <laughs> Did you say, is that a band? No, it's like, that sounds like a band name. Bristol poo energy system. Like, <laughs> it's like a dance music band. 100%. Uh, yeah, it's like something that, uh, that Jez and Superhands <laughs> would put together. Yeah. 
Oh, man. Okay, that's anything. <laughs> Richard, no, what have you got? Did they poo and it went up like a lava lamp and never landed? <laughs> that's not what we put. No. Something to do with Porter's head. That's yeah. it. Okay, all right, and what have you got? Roisin and David, please. Someone got into some sort of trouble trying to retrieve their poo <laughs> from between a window <laughs> and its secondary double glazing. In a bag. But, that, that, is that the right answer? Yes. Yes, it's the right answer. Oh, my God. Okay, please explain who you are and why you made the news. My name is Liam, and my date got stuck between two windows at my house earlier this year after she tried to per throw her poo out of the window. <laughs> so, sorry, yes. you go back to your house, the, the accuses herself, goes to the bathroom, yes. drops a deuce. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't blush. <laughs> so she, she did up in toilet paper and she went to try and throw it out of my window. Uh, but unfortunately, my house had a weird sort of quirk of student housing design. There was two sort of glass <laughs> and it got stuck in between. So them. she essentially just put her poo on display. But in a nice little case. It's yeah. a nice display unit, like as you get in a museum, maybe, for an artifact. So she put exactly. her poo on display. And then what happened? Well, I thought we'd smash the window to get it out. She oh. was a bit of an amateur gymnast, so she decided to climb in after it, and she got stuck. Oh, oh no! So who did you have to call? Uh, the fire brigade came okay. out. Okay, and were any of the firemen injured laughing that hard? <laughs> I think it was the call out of the week for them, yeah. How did he tell you um, what <laughs> happened? Yeah. She was very polite about it, actually. She came out and said, look, I'm, I'm really sorry, but, but this happens, and we're, we're going to Yeah, it's the, the time interesting. <laughs> we skipped over the most interesting bit there. So she comes back and she says, my mummified faeces are in the... Uh, David Roisin, you get the points. How do you come back from that? Like, Fair play. Know. You know what? Fair play. That's the realest shit, literally. Like, that's... Yeah. If you guys can make it through that, you guys are solid. Yeah, yeah. They, was there a second date? Yeah, like... How I Met Your Mother moment right here. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't a date. It was a, uh, um, a said girlfriend. So obviously they've been together for at least some time. And I'm like, that's next level comfort. Where she, you know, she's like, hey, listen, I fucked up. What'd you do? I tried to, you know, what? All right, fine. Either it's it's falling apart or it's never been stronger. Yeah, there's in between there. <laughs> None. No. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's done to the scores. I can tell you, uh, Richard and Noel have 15 points, and David and Roisin and Big Nasty and Catherine both on 28. All right, what are we at? 16. 16, okay, we're a point ahead of both uh, Noel and Richard. So, oh my God. We've got like one left, I think. And we still haven't used any handicaps yet. No, we have, have not. We have that in our arsenal right now. Yep. We're going to take a quick toilet break now. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for our special guest, Liam. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. The next round is all about the talking points and water cooler moments that define 2017. Let's remind ourselves what everyone was talking about this year. The new £10 note featuring Jane Austen was a triumph for feminists who'd long complained there were no women featured on banknotes. Except, of course, the Queen, who's on all of them. <laughs> Extreme weather caused worldwide devastation in 2017. Much of Texas was flooded. Whole Caribbean islands were left devastated. Vietnam had their strongest typhoon in a generation. And in Britain, a wheelie bin was blown over. <laughs> Together, we'll rebuild. <laughs> OK, final questions. All right. Eyewitnesses were delighted in April when they saw Tom Hardy spring into action on the streets of London. What was he doing? Playing Zebedee. <laughs> was he on the springs? In September. You got anything? What what is we're here? Uh talking heads, like water cooler moments. What did Tom uh, Hardy do in April of 2017? I think he was on the maybe filming a movie. Yeah, like what heroic act do as like street justice? Uh probably someone. Yeah, we'll go with that one. I got nothing. Playing Zebedee. <laughs> was he on the springs? In September, two year old Emily Henson attended the Invictus Games and sat next to Prince Harry. Oh, what did she do on camera that made headlines around the world? What? What? She did something on camera that made headlines around the world. You've got no OK, idea. for the next question, went over to uh, the script. <laughs> Hello, Jimmy. This year, one tweet from everyone's favorite football opponent, Gary Lineker, it really caught her eye. Yeah, that's right. Back in October, he tweeted, the end is nigh. But what strange phenomenon prompted him to tweet this? I liked the bit earlier when there was a bat in their house. Right, because they're Irish. The script. Uh, say, Jimmy. Gary Lineker tweeted, the end is nigh. Why oh, did he tweet, the end is nigh? I, I know. Okay. The end is nigh. In November, 
Greg's The Bakers was forced to apologise after publicity shots for its Christmas advent calendar were criticised. Can you tell me what caused the offence? Oh, yes. Ah, man. They didn't have any, any sausage rolls. Oh, in, in the, the advent? Picked at Auschwitz. I don't know. I'm just going to say uh, no uh, sausage rolls were in there. There you go. Which, which is a crime. Those sausage rolls are damn good. All right. I'll take your word for it, man. Yes, David, of course, has a uh, an advent calendar from up in the house, I feel <laughs> sure. First thing I do, I walk up to the woman and say, well, go on, sister. You know what I'm saying, yeah? Don't want them dead sandwiches. I beg you, bust me if you love me. Go to the back and make me a special club. There's an extra two pounds for the filling. And she does it? Of course. Oh! That's the most amazing ever. I go into Greg's and I get them to make me a special sandwich. <laughs> I'm going to try it. It sounds oh, amazing. Boy. I like it. Uh, OK. A US Navy grounded after residents in Washington witnessed the pilot doing something a Navy official described as wholly unacceptable and antithetical to Navy core values. So what was that US Navy pilot doing? Uh, I'm pretty sure you have some funny answers, Army guy. I don't, I don't know. Fitting. Navy should be in boats. No, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> no, it's Navy, not Air Force. No, um... Fine. I don't know. I don't know. No clue. They do what they want to do. I have no idea. It probably flew by and went, mine, mine, mine. <laughs> yeah. If you know, you know. So you a pilot, done style man, was doing something. What was it? Tell you what he was doing. He was taking my bloody breath away. It's a Top Gun reference, everyone. That's right. There should be more refs to Berlin. Thank you. <laughs> OK, let's have a look at the answers, everyone. OK. I asked you what did on the streets of London. What did you think? Some fine acting. You think people saw him acting? And he also stopped a crime. Mm. Maybe some bad acting was happening near him. So stopped a crime. Uh, what did you get, Bing? Well, he stopped a robber. Oh. Stopped a robber. All right. <laughs> fine. OK, and uh, Richard, no? It's about Taboo. I have no idea what he was, he was talking about. He was in a show about. called Taboo. We just wrote that down. And then we just put he was. <laughs> in a show called Taboo. I can't give you a point for that. I was going to stick with he was. OK, well, I'm, I'm going to give you points. He, he uh, actually, Tom Hardy was spotted here at the streets of London uh, stopping a man who'd allegedly stolen a motorbike. So we're right. You're all right. You get points yeah. for that. Well done. Point, point, no point. <laughs> all right, next one, what uh, two-year-old Emily Henson was doing at the Invictus Games. Stealing my man. She was flirting with my bae. <laughs> she stole his popcorn. It was adorable. It was viral. Did you get this? You got... Ate his royal popcorn. OK, <laughs> and then... Stole his you, did you what? Yeah. Stole his popcorn and I drew, right. drew a ghost. So that's an extra point. Well, let's take a look. It is pretty adorable. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He initially, seriously, actually took the popcorn away from her. <laughs> at the start. He genuinely did that. And then he tried to make up for it afterwards. <laughs> if you look at that, he went, <laughs> he meant it. He absolutely meant it. He I mean, meant yeah, it. He is a that footage. I mean, she's eating it for ages without noticing it. What yeah. he does notice is he's like, he went, well, back up. <laughs> <laughs> so the script was okay so i feel like i've read when both prince william and uh duchess kate went to an nba game one of the players got in trouble for taking pictures and like putting their arm his arm around them apparently you're not supposed to do that so i'm pretty sure that if prince harry wanted to press the the, the mom that uh, he could have he, he he took he took took it all in stride it just regular humans now? I think so. Uh, both him and Meghan Markle. Yeah. Uh, I think oh. so. Okay. I, I could be wrong about that. Someone's getting mad and I, writing I, paragraphs I, in the comments over it. I, I, I sleep well at night. <laughs> yeah, me too. Back the fuck up. <laughs> no, I am. <laughs> so the script know why Gary Lineker took to Twitter uh, to claim the end was nigh. What did you put? Yeah, he's giving up on Walker's Chris. Get rid of him, isn't he? <laughs> nope. Uh, the sky went, um, what, what, what is it? Weird sky. Yes. By prawn cocktail dust. <laughs> okay, Noel, what have you put? What do you mean? What have you got for this? What for? This Sandstorm question. sky. We got it right, Sandstorm Mind sky. Mind your own business. Apologies, Noel, apologies. Okay, yeah. well, I can tell you, yes, Gary Lineker was worried that it was ending because of the red sky. Let's have a look. Little sky over London. Come. I don't think Gary Lineker was really worried. At the end of night, I think he was. <laughs> no, I think there was. He was expressing levity. Don't he? he's joking about it. So I'm, I think I'm, to say stupid Gary Lineker thought the world was ending and now it hasn't is a bit rough. Okay, Greg's the bakers upset people with that calendar. Why? To draw nativity scene. Place Jesus. They replaced Jesus with a sausage, sausage roll. roll. Did you get this as well? Did you get a look and see this? Is their nativity scene. I mean, 
mean, the so the Greg sausage is damn good, but not enough to replace Jesus. Definitely not baby Jesus. Yeah, yeah. There with uh, 8.7 at 8 ounces <laughs> up in heaven there. Whatever oh, Ricky Bobby said. God, bro. Mm -hmm. oh, I love that. No, I know, but if you look carefully, you, said it, though. you will see that Jesus yeah. has been replaced by a sausage roll there. I can't see how that's about. Who complained about that? I mean, if I was, you know, Muslim, I'm a problem. But Christians, what have they got against a sausage roll? Jesus was Jewish. Yeah, yeah, but then the Christians complained about this. Yeah, but he's a Jewish baby being played by a pork sausage. <laughs> being played by? Yeah, is this... I mean, open up the audition. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think a steak bake should have got it? <laughs> In pastry, give it to the steak bake. Have some That's respect. I <laughs> must say, I'm, I'm not surprised that people complained. I think, I think, uh, I don't think the steak bake, the steak bake was good, but not, not enough to replace Jesus. What really would have been a bad omen is if they put a Greg's pizza on there. That Greg's pizza was trash. Mm. I don't know why people hype that thing up. Mm. It's disgusting. On, on, on a, on a, Comparative to uh, 7-Eleven pizza. It's like a baby step above a 7-Eleven pizza. Pretty bad. Shout out to Joe at Baltic Market for making a quality-ass Italian pizza in, in Liverpool. Thank you for Hell getting yeah. that taste out of my mouth. Thank Hell you for yeah. that. If it was a mini sausage roll, but the yeah. the scale is ludicrous. Yeah, <laughs> it's a scale like more canapé. Yeah. Well, didn't give none of the little figures could have given birth to something that big. <laughs> okay, points all round on that one. And last for this round, I want to know. Did we get a point for that one? Yeah, we, we did. You point? said you said sausage roll. I said, okay. and so they're cool, cool. Oh, so baby pilots in trouble. What did they do? Dick sky. <laughs> okay, big nasty. Can you put? Big nasty knew the answer to this one. What was it? They were watching porn. Yeah, you knew the wrong answer to this one. Yeah, it's Dick Sky. We all can the wrong answer. It's Dick Sky. That's the right answer, Richard. No. He I... had a shit in the cockpit, threw it out, and he got caught between the glass. <laughs> Let's take a look at what I can only describe as two pilots who have gone to Top Gun. Dick Sky. I think what you're looking at is Dick Sky. Yeah. It's a shame they didn't go back to the little bit of sperm <laughs> coming out of the air. I guess, I guess, you know, budget cuts. <laughs> Okay, finally, it's a big question. Oh, Blue we... Planet 2 was the most viewed television show of 2017. Oh, so oh, who oh. better to ask our final question than the cast of Blue Planet 2? Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh. Hello, can we play with them? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Penguin! Get, 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 get. Three baguettes! More fucking good. Oh, Jimmy, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Go on a bit. I mean, we right. went penguin. Did you think the polar bear was real? Bro, right, for a hot second, I thought it was real, and I was going to run. <laughs> for a hot second. <laughs> OK, Mr. Polar Bear, do you have a question? <clears throat> yes, I have some questions. <laughs> I'd like the panel to tell me the most streamed artist in 2017, according to Spotify, and the most talked about person on Twitter in the UK in 2017, wow. and the word wow. of the year for 2017. I see. Oh, okay. All right. I, we have our three handicaps. I'm just gonna use them right now. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure my internet's on. Okay. Who was the most streamed artist of I in 2017? Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Really? Okay. Yeah. That's when it came out. Which, in my opinion, is his best record. Um. So okay. What was the other one? It was who was the most talked in the UK in 2017 on Twitter? Yeah. Who was the most talked about in the UK on Twitter in 2017? Uh, uh 27. Top UK retweets of 2017. It, it, it's hard to look at, but it's because it's X now. Um, our car. Okay, no, that's not Carter. Um, Bradley, Barack Obama, no. And the stick, Clarkson, no. Uh, what if we just put one of the Royals? They're usually up there, right? Jeremy Corbyn. Uh, oh, uh, Jeremy Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn. Okay. Is Jeremy the most mentioned individual in on UK Twitter in 2017? Not only did he beat Theresa May in terms of total conversation, he was also ahead of Donald Trump. So, wow, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so what was the last question? The word. Okay. What was the word here, I think? What was the word of the year in 2017? Hashtag, I bet. Feminism? Shit. Okay. 
Okay, so okay. we'll lock in those in. You're in Jeremy Corbyn, feminism. It's very reasonable. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> cool, so three questions here. Most streamed artists according to Spotify, yeah? Yes. Okay, and, and most talked to person in the UK according to Twitter? That's correct. I'll give you clues, not Donald Trump. And the uh, word or phrase of the year according to the Collins English Dictionary? That's it. Why the Collins Dictionary, not the Oxford English Dictionary? Because I went to Cambridge. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, Go over and bother but don't build the mulled wine on him because... <laughs> oh, it is cool. He's, uh, he's pretty adorable, isn't he? Jimmy, is, is the word of the year absolutely one word? <laughs> no, it's a phrase. It's, it's a phrase. Bad. Okay, point each, a ten-point bonus if you get all of them. Okay. Okay, so most streamed artist of the year, who did you think? Taylor Swift. Nah. What did you think? A ginger bro, man. He smashed them. Ed Sheeran. Oh, Ed Sheeran, yeah. okay. And uh, Richard Nolan. Yeah, Ed, Ed Sheeran, Ed Sheeran is win. the right answer. Most streamed artist uh, of the year. My gosh. Okay. All right, most talked about person in the UK. This is according to Twitter. We went Jeremy Corbyn. You went? Yeah, Corbyn. Corbyn. And you went? Taylor Swift. We don't care. Taylor Swift. <laughs> we don't care. Okay. I can say the answer was Jeremy Corbyn. Most of oh, this year. Okay. And uh, the, uh, the phrase or word of the year? Dotard. <laughs> Dotard is not the right answer. You went with? Bass. BDL. No, that is not the word of the year. And then you've gone for? Fake news. That was the word of the year. Oh. Yes. OK, uh, let's see how you all did. Uh, I can tell you that in last place. OK, so we got we got two. Two. So, all right, 19. 19, final score. Predictably, Richard Iwadi, Noel Fielding, 19 oh. points. Something well done. OK. Fine. But in first place, I'm rushing for 35 points. You're the winners of the Big Fat Quiz. Wow. Thanks to all of you. A big thank you to our amazing panel, all our special guests, and thank you for watching. This has been the Big Fat Quiz of 2017. Good night. All right. Well, we tied for third. We didn't. Yeah. We didn't finish last. So we were tied for last. We should say. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. We're tied for last. We're tied for third place. Sounds better. Yeah. Tied for third. We're, we'll go with that one. Yep. Anyway, y'all, as we said throughout this one, if there's any big nasty content to check out, please let us know what to check out. Yeah, that would be fun for a change. Yeah. Some yeah. different. Yeah, exactly. And I guess next one is Big Fat Quiz of Everything 2018. I'm here for it. Yeah, we're, we're itching closer to catching up to modern times. Yes, yes, yes. I can't wait for us to be current. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching YouTube. Consider subscribing, watching another video. Patreon, thank you for your patronage and Definitely. keeping the lights on here. And what now, Dan the Man? Unplug and uh, and do something legendary, guys. Yep, see y'all now.